Hello everyone, uh, it's Talia here, Head of Communications at Munners Across Borders. And I'm very excited to bring you an exclusive interview with our director, Philippe, who is joining us today. And we're going to ask some questions to find out about the foundation, mission and future of our organisation. So over to you, Philippe. Please, will you introduce yourself and tell us about your role within Munners Across Borders? Of course. So hello, everyone. Thank you very much, Talia, for, for inviting me onto the interview. My name is Philippe Lefebvre. I'm the director of World Model UN Day and Mundus Cross Borders. Um, now, I've been doing MUN now for the best part of five, six years. Uh, and it got me thinking that we need a way to sort of bring people together, bring MUNs together across the board. And that's why uh, I helped found Mundus Cross Borders back in 2021. And my role as director essentially means I'm coordinating the whole team. So a fantastic team here. Uh, about almost 20 of us in the organization spread across the world and beyond from Egypt, Sudan, UK, Belgium, Canada, um, even for a while Japan. And so it's uh, been a really, really nice time and I've been enjoying it a lot. And I think everyone on the team is really fantastic and it's just been a pleasure to work with them. So that's my role. As director, you do a bit of everything and a bit of nothing. It's, uh, mm -hmm. you know, in a dream world, you wouldn't have to do anything. But um, of course, there are many... Uh, many things that one has to do and I coordinate I guess specifically with the UN as well uh, so that's working with the UN missions uh, to actually get a resolution together to try and push for World Model UN Day. So yeah it's true our team is very international which proves a, proves a challenge when we're trying to do team calls <laughs> but we do manage. That is true. Yeah. Um, so you've explained a little bit about the foundations of uh, why you came up with this idea. Can you tell us more about what World Model UN Day is and what it celebrates? Sure. So World Model UN Day isn't an official item yet. It's something we are looking to establish and would like the United Nations to establish uh, every year on March 18th. We would like them to have an official holding of World Model UN Day. Now, this is a day where every single MUN -er, a past, present, and even those who want to do it in the future can come together, learn more about World Model UN Day, well, learn more about MUN, um, and also it's a place to share learning about MUN, share how we can make it more effective, to connect policymakers to those youth who are getting engaged in the international system. Uh, and it's really, I'd say, the first of its kind. Very often what I found with MUN is you do a conference, you do a debate, and then you leave. And it becomes, oh, I've done this. Oh, I've done that. There's no sustainability in it. And there's less lessons learned across the board. And what we want to do is establish a day officially, which will happen soon, we hope, to allow that to happen, to make this platform and foundation for literally tens, if not hundreds of thousands of people to, to come together. Um, and as Munners Cross Borders, um, which would you like me to talk about, Talia? Yeah, explain us the idea and yeah, the mission. Of course, and Munich Cross Borders is a big part of that too, as that's an organization that is the NGO powering this, that essentially is there to bring MUN together. It is there to cross the borders and really bring everyone to the, the forefront. Um, and one of the main events we would like to run is of course World Model UN Day. And we run already, as you can see from my website, two fantastic uh, versions of it that have been online and next year's will be two. Uh, do keep track of our social media for any updates on that. And um, we'd also like to do other projects, bring MUNs together, looking at improving accessibility for MUN. Um, and so those are really the, the two main items we work on. And you know, I couldn't be happy having a great team of people who both have done MUN and haven't, uh, because I think it's, it's something that brings youth internationally together in a way that everyone can appreciate. And I think that's really the, the beauty of it. Absolutely. Very well explained. <laughs> and can you tell us any more about the our upcoming event? I know it's in the pipeline and some details are to be confirmed, but what can people expect? Of course. Well, uh, you know the date already. There we are. I mean, that's pretty open. March 18th uh, and that weekend will be the day of the next World Model UN Day that we run, which, uh, as mentioned, is not official yet, but we hope to make it in time. Uh, and a huge thanks for all of our partners and steering group uh, who've been helping us for that. Day. We couldn't do it without them. Um, it will hopefully be a multi-day event with some keynote speakers. We're hoping to get some of the most significant people in the United Nations along. Uh, and then it's going to be an event made by MUNers for MUNers, essentially. And that means really we're going to open sometime soon applications to run your own side event 
at World Modly One Day. And then hopefully we're going to have dozens of events running simultaneously across the whole day, across the world, uh, that anyone can join, really. And so it's going to be a huge sort of co-creation of the day. And that's really what it's all about. It's about that grassroots co-creating the idea, co-creating the event, uh, and really bringing everyone together. So that's what you can look forward to. Um, and, uh, well, thank you to all of the teams, such as Talia, for, for helping us on that road. Yeah, absolutely. Keep your eyes peeled on our social media for how you can get involved and also for when registration does open for this event to attend. Uh, so yeah, I think we've covered everything and I hope everyone has a better idea of the organisation and uh, any more questions you can always ask us on social media. And uh, do you have anything? Yeah. Maybe I'll just say that, you know, MUN has been going since 1943. We are nearing the 80th anniversary. And across those times, it's hard to really put into words the amount of people it's affected, the amount of people it's grown. People like Ban Ki-moon, Barack Obama, they did MUN back in their time. And it really does help to bring a sense of the international community. And it develops soft skills like no other event or item in the world. And I think we're really proud to be able to bring that to more people. Even if you don't like MUN or you don't do MUN, everyone is welcome. You don't have to do one before or afterwards, though we'd, of course, encourage it. Um, and uh, for that, there's all the resources in the world. But for anything else, as Talia said, please feel free to reach out. Yeah. Thank you for your time today. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.